in situ hybridization ish and fluorescence in situ hybridization fish. In situ hybridization is a method that allows to localize and detect nucleic acid sequences within structurally intact cells or morphologically preserved tissues sections. Fluorescence in situ hybridization is a kind of ish which uses fluorescent probes binding parts of the chromosome to show a high degree of sequence complementarity. Ish works by using a tagging cDNA probe that will hybridize with the target DNA sequence. The basic principles for fish and all other methods of in situ hybridization are the same. Except one is utilizing a fluorescence probe to detect specific nucleotide sequences within cells and tissues. Probe is critical to in situ hybridization, and a right probe can help you achieve your goals. Not only the probe types but also the label of probe should you take into account when you choose a probe for in situ hybridization. There are essentially four types of probe that can be used in performing in situ hybridization. Double-stranded DNA probes. Single-stranded DNA probes. RNA probes. Synthetic oligonucleotides probes. To see where the probe has bound within your cells a tissue section you must attach a label to the probe before hybridization. There are a variety of labeling techniques which can be divided into two types. Radioactive isotopes and non-radioactive labels. The procedure of the ish can be outlined as Sample preparation Probe preparation Denaturation and hybridization and detection Fresh tissue is removed and fixed as soon as possible. Precipitating fixatives are not recommended because of a fear that such fixatives would make the cell matrix impermeable. Or alter the target nucleic acid to a point that hybridization would be reduced or prevented. Methanol, acetic acid fixation and formalin fixation is always used. After fixation, the sample is embedded in paraffin or RCT and section to thin slices with microtome or freezing microtome. In order to remove the proteins surrounding the target sequence, permeabilization procedures are carried out with reagents like proteinase, HCl and detergents. After that, the probe is added to the reaction. A heated procedure may be needed to denaturation the probe and chromosome. Then hybridization follows. Wash out unbound or loosely bound probes. Radio-labeled probes are detected by either photographic film or photographic emulsion. For non-radio-labeled probes can be detected by fluorescence microscope or specific antibodies. In situ hybridization has been widely used for research applications including Morphology and population structure of microorganisms Pathogen profiling abnormal gene expression Gene expression profiling in embryonic tissues. Unique fish patterns on individual chromosomes, chromosomal aberrations. Mapping clones on chromosomes and direct assignment of mapped clones to chromosomal regions associated with heterochromatin or euchromatin.